Welcome to the Digital Earth Africa web based interface. Digital Earth Africa map is the easy way to explore, visualize, and analyze spatial data on the African continent. You can search for places, explore a catalog of data sets, compare different data sets side by side, observe how the landscape changes over time, create, and even share interactive stories. The URL for Digital at Africa map is maps.digitalearth.africa. This is the interface for the web application. Digital at Africa map interface has two sections. The left section is the data workbench, and the right section is the map interface. From the data workbench on the left section, you can add data sets. To add a data set to the map, click on Explore Data to open the data set catalog. The data sets are grouped in categories for easy identification. We will be using the water observation from space annual summary data set. Because it's a water related, we will go to the surface water category. Then select the water observation from space beta. The right panel gives information on the selected data set. Click on the Add button to load the data set on the map. On the workbench, you will see the loaded data set and also shown on the map interface. To the right of the Explore button is the Load Local or Web Data button. To upload a custom data set to the workbench, either being a web map service or a geospatial file. Navigate through the data using the floating button on the right side of the map. We have the zoom button, we have the center the map at your location, we have the measure tool and the sliding button. The slider button helps identify changes over time by comparing two data sets from the workbench. From the data sets in the workbench, we can see buttons like zoom to extent, about this data, split, export, remove, opacity, time of the data sets and also the type of star you want. Zoom in to an area of interest and select a year. You will choose the year of 2014 and later compare it to 2018. From the legend, areas with blue color, water was detected throughout the year and the area with red color, only 1% of water was detected which could be as a result of flooding. We will compare the WAVs annual summary for two different years. To do that, click on the split button on the layer to duplicate it. Beneath the opacity level, you get buttons to decide which part of the slider you want each data set to be. We are comparing the WAV summary between 2014 and 2018. The data set on the left of the slider is the 2014 data set. To set the data set for the right slider, move to the second part of the data set that was created and you will choose the year 2018. To compare the years, you will slide to either the left or to the right. So looking at the image, you realize that some areas had water in 2014. But if you move to 2018, these same areas experience less water. The buttons on the right side can be used to create a story map that you can share it with others using the share and print app. If you want more information, the help button will give you extra information on how to use this platform. 